VISTA is the Domestic Peace Corps, is what's most commonly referred to. Uh, it is part of the AmeriCorps National Service Program, uh, founded back in the 1960s as part of President Johnson's War on Poverty. Uh, and it's really an anti-poverty focused program. It places full-time volunteers in low-income communities, in nonprofit organizations, and other community agencies to help re reduce and eliminate barriers for people living in poverty to lead a more successful life. So VISTAs do capacity building work, they help create sustainability, um, they're doing the community organizing that makes a community stronger and better and better able to serve low-income people. Traditionally, in the last 40, 50 years, I mean, VISTAs have been responsible for things like Head Start, for credit unions, for neighborhood watches. Um, so the history of VISTAs in communities has been really exciting. And that, I think the biggest impacts that VISTAs have, though, um, are about changing the way that communities do business. Um, so they're helping them reevaluate their systems and their programs, and they're helping them make connections and reduce duplication across services, which we see in the nonprofit world all the time. Uh, they're recruiting uh, volunteers and they're doing resource generation and they're just helping a community get organized to be able to better serve all of its residents uh, and the, the impacts vary on community and they vary based on the organization that the VISTA serves but I think their biggest role is that they're there to bring a fresh perspective and they have this laser focus on you know community change and they're able to just look at things differently and bring the right people to the table. The Department of Public Instruction receives a grant from the Corporation for National and Community Service to sponsor this VISTA program. Uh, we receive this money on a, a, every three years, and it's a three-year grant cycle, uh, and then we recruit and train and support and sponsor the volunteers and the agencies. So we're kind of an intermediary host site, so we recruit um, public libraries and public schools to host our VISTA members. They apply for VISTA members, and then we have an approval and review process and then we place these volunteers in sites across the state. And then we continue to work with not just the VISTA, but the site, the site supervisor, the community, the volunteers, you know, whoever is involved in the project. Um, we're just that support piece in the whole thing.